is one of the local banks where farmers' payments are affected, and they have come to see it. Maybe talk to you, find out how do you do these payments. We shall let at least the farmers, they also talk to themselves, but maybe as a circle manager, let us know how do you do these payments, what are the challenges, what do you advise Eco Trust, or what do you advise the Kenyan farmers to do when they go back to their areas. So, a good continue. You're most welcome. Any questions? This is where farmers are paid. Some of the farmers are paid. They are several, but farmers prefer where they want. So majority of the farmers in this area, the two districts, prefer to be paid here. Yes. And here's the man. And I was a car that is outside on the driveway. So this is Madame Manager. Morning. Hey. This is Madame Manager of the Cassia. I can't wait to take the position. I'm Watenga Baby. Okay. Welcome to Manufacturing Circle. Um, it is a, okay, we call it a great bank because uh, our members are free with us. Anybody can post at any time, withdraw any amount at any time, and they feel free with us. Uh, we are happy to deal with Echo Trust. Uh, we have our members from uh, Chibokolo and from Bukoma. The first meeting is those of Bukoma mm -hmm. to the help of Mr. Akena. He brought them to introduce them to us and they came and opened accounts with us. <coughs> so Ecotra sends them money through our account. We will withdraw it, then we bring it to the circle, then we will post it on their personal accounts. From there they come and withdraw it. And then we are better than to withdraw. I want to leave it if you will be so I want continue the posting. That's how they operate on their accounts. They get loans in their accounts. They buy shares. They make all the draws like that. And they feel very free that they, they ask that if we get opportunity of talking to you people, that you may continue supporting them. Because when I was talking to the majority of them, they were like, they would add us more trees. Because I have never personally visited them. But when they come, they say, if they would add us more trees, we have land, we can plant. And I have some others within. They say if, if they can be connected to Ecotrust, they can uh, do the same activity as Ecotrust pays them. Because they are just having their own trees, having the land, but now they say we want to be connected to Ecotrust so that you can also benefit because they also have been farmers. They are within the time council. Mm, because they have seen the, the benefits Ecotrust has uh, put in its beneficial needs. It's farmers. Maybe she has not taken time to separate the, 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 the age groups, the age groups and the gender. When mm. I look at them, the youngest might be around 20. Mm. 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 Because the majority are 
when you pay them, the wives are aware about the money. Because the father, they just pay for membership. Parents, if they are to get their money, Knowing that they have accounts here and they benefit from Ecotrust, maybe I'm not sure except whether they have come to supervise their Unless if maybe they don't tell them that they credit them. From the monitoring of the account, for Ecotrust, for company credit payment, or they are for general income. Savings and other things on yeah, the farm. Yeah, for income savings and credit. Okay, it, it counts as any other member. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when the money comes, it is uh, withdrawn in lump sum. Then it brought here. When it's brought, we use this uh, mm -hmm. list. That, that list to mm -hmm. credit their, their accounts. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then they come with the mm -hmm. And They send him 100,000. Mm -hmm. He withdraw all the 100,000. And you wait when they credit again his account. <laughs> yes. When he will again withdraw. <laughs> but oh, um, maybe my salary. <laughs> <laughs> but at uh, first I tried to talk to them. I talked to them. I advised them. I said, you never know this problem, sickness, what. So you you leave something for yourself. Those who have taken the advice have always left something. Mm -hmm. Maybe from the equal trust fund. Mm. Okay. Uh, the community requested mm -hmm. that they also take up the, the, the whatever. They also open accounts with us. Mm -hmm. So apart from teachers, mm -hmm. we have others who are also farmers, uh, but not specify that in this area that mm -hmm. they are farmers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and his own land, mm -hmm. whether he can benefit from eco trust and how he can benefit from eco trust. I have got two cases. Then they monitor them, then after they facilitate the ministry. That's what I answered. But I told you my concern because the family will take first. Ask whether they can also benefit from the contrast. Especially among the rural farmers in Africa. Uh, but sometimes we have realized that people change <laughs> with some interventions. They can change and adopt the culture of uh, saving. So I don't know if as a circle you have any initiatives to change that culture of farmers around here so that uh, they are able also to, to save what they earn. We want to actually above what is not mm. So what are you doing to achieve that? Of course, we go around the, we go around advertising, what, calling for people to come, mobilizing people around out there. Those who have, who like, for us, we go to <coughs> schools, we go to villages like these drinking joints, we go to groups, there are four family groups, some meet weekends. So they come and connect with us. There are days of, what, of meeting with them and what, and we, we talk to them. We like to teach them how circles operate, how they can benefit from circles, when they say what happens, like that. So that's what so many groups. I have uh, the okay, there is a fortress. There are those who, who clean up the road. They know send a group. They will also come and open an account from here. Mm -hmm. There are also groups there, like they, they are pledge savings. They come. And, uh, this issue of women, yeah. how are you handling because of gender? Women on board, and it should become a very big challenge. It's what we are trying to fight. We are trying to fight for women emancipation. <laughs> I still feel uh, you as an uh, as an organization, mm -hmm. you can try to empower women yeah. because actually empowerment will not start on the mm -hmm. at the grassroots level. But you guys, when you come in, mm -hmm. you can be able to empower women because mm -hmm. if you feel like we are going to break families because of uh, empowering women, mm -hmm. women cannot touch money. Mm -hmm. I think there is an issue. 
Because look at what we are talking about, like our constitution says, mm -hmm. even when you call for a meeting, a third of eight agenda has to be represented. Mm -hmm. Whether it is in the, in the mm -hmm. assembly, mm -hmm. whether it is in the office, yes. and that's why you find most of us here are yeah, women. women. Because we are actually well represented. Mm -hmm. Why? Because some empowerment came from somewhere. So I believe EcoTrust and any other organization has a very big and a key role to play in this case. They feel they're supposed to put two, like next of kin. When you ask, you tell him, your child is supposed to be your number one, then your child, or any two of your own choice. Someone will tell you, I'll put my one year old son, and I'll look for another one. <laughs> 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 Come and support gender in this region. Mm. We inform, to train women, to empower men, so that men see women as an input, not as a liability. Then that's a future thing, you can say. We need an institution also to come within carbon project and address gender issues because maybe we are not, we don't have capacity as an institution. And our area may be just environment, agroforestry, but then we bring a partner who can address gender issues. And they are recommended. It's a feedback. And you know, women have been playing a crucial, a crucial role in this issue of the carbon project. Yeah, exactly. Even the farm tillage, uh, preparation, and finally, even the harvest and the outputs, you see that women play a uh, very key role. Mm. Men, because we claim we own land, so finally we, we say these are our, uh, our sales, uh, returns are on our part. But uh, women, like I've seen even as we do it uh, from our side, uh, in, in a very old country, they play a very key role. So, very important that uh, when we identify with them that uh, they are key players in these eco-trust programs and all that, then finally the output will be very massive. Because when they realize that men are simply taking monies and they disappear with it since I'm bringing dens around here, then women will be, uh, will be demoralized. They will not support this project. So actually, like uh, Amos and the rest of us say, there's a need for programs to come down to make men realize that uh, ladies are key players in this project and we need them on board. So it's very important for us. Uh, maybe I see when, uh, when this money comes, eh, we incur projects before bringing it to this place. Mm, there are risks, uh, there is uh, transport, and there are charges that they back up tax. Like this time, we, we realized that they had deposited the money late. We, we realized that so they, they back up the tax. So I requested the, the members of Tours and Tours. I requested them that maybe I will talk to their spouses, talk to them that maybe they leave for us sometime as they withdraw to recover that transport cost. Ah, they did not accept the They did not accept It's not part of the payment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sub-county to grow trees for carbon purposes. Valimivakali, the city of Witsa and Ravalio, never seen the money around Witsa. Valimivandi, the Kama Kumi, Kataruni, Hutumanga. He's saying that most of the farmers have not come 
is expect, expecting around 30 farmers and above. But for those who have come, he has only welcomed them. So you are most welcome. And uh, Mukusu Sabu County is well known for one thing. It produced the clan of the Babu Kusu. The clan became a tribe, a tribe. I think they, there are so many <laughs> across. <laughs> yeah. Which is it? Sina Chifo Che Wukusu, Cha Sarabanan, Babu Kusu. West Coast Ghana can have Babu Kusu, 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 Babu Assistant coordinator, Mzee Kenny Winyo, or Hesa Hogakin, and we young Kamas. Kabore Ahmad, Elan Dumrimi, the Anonia Angoas, Fuharan, Manyan. He's called the Kabeti, Kenny Najimunio, we are young Kamas in the last night, and I'm going to go. He's calling upon the Chapas and Nelson want to welcome us officially in this. But he's saying he has moved along with the chapas and the city. Can we so greet the what? The community first of all. Someone talk to him. I see. I can move but it's how it's not what about the living young Muguga Ni Mukabon Dread. All right, he's saying, eh, as from Kenya and here, for the first thing we have been sharing if one person in Umukuka, but for now, Eco Trust has also joined as carbon what? Carbon farmers. Wandana Sani, they come as a number of your land. He's called Wandana. Uh, by the name I'm called Victor Agnes Wokoki, Mineral District Councillor for this area, and at the same time, I'm also a farmer. Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah. I Okay.
mukenya adabi ambaga na kuchoka chuka ye mbira ye vude ni kwa chini kongera bujimuna mikunda jefe shani basa Can the farmer explain the system? The system he has chosen when he eat land, which management produces the purpose of planting when he eat. Sara, the assembly mutuera. Na biara visa la vino, na natuba sakamo, na mani ni timu ni timu na tete ahu na ahu funa, visa la vino, muri mo bi bi shukuru na ahu funa ho, gati ahu, luka na ahu ahu atehera ahu video, ahu funa mo timba o, ahu kulisa, ahu sume sela ahu baba ana, ba ni alisha hui yonge la bati atai, ni sisi shina kula visa la vino. He was telling us the purpose as to why he did what. He planted the trees. Coffee, he make, making a shed for his coffee. The next one is firewood, timber. Then at the end, he's expecting to sell these trees and get school fees for his what? His children. Mm. Saya at the middle, at the low level, you, you are finished the business. It's a serious thing. It's serious. Now, who are the ones who are among 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 the ones who are Ari siapa kau beli? Kau nak sonsa nak kira kau pun nak ayuh punno, baca bahan dia kerja cai awak senang. Nak macam orang kan? No no, evi no. Macam orang kan kasih semua ni. Si bapa kita ada semua ni. Korang kuri di mana ada? Mana dia? Bisa ada bina dia. Luka nak aku dah kau nak dia. Nanti sini dia bapa kita. Hmm. Hei. 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 Bapa kita bini ayuh bini. But for this case, these people from uh, Bobusasa or this Bukusu area, they got a chance and benefited from one of the social corporate responsibility programs of Ecotrust in, in a partnership with Standard Chartered Bank. That is what he's talking about, that he got some 200, but if you go elsewhere, Ecotrust doesn't give out trees to, under this program to the farmers. The farmer must buy his own trees or her own trees. Mm. This Ramon, you have to go and go. We are going to go to the visa. 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 We
That is from his parish only. Yeah. Yeah. The sub-count is big, yeah. but only his parish. Yeah, his parish. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21 farmers in his group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 No, no, the man is Jambo. In your name, but Papa, some more work of ways of a man. But how many very more? Like in the Nibo Hucha Punola, just sending your Munio Langas in the Lakin in Gay Work, you go. Over Norian, Waba Vulai, while the Savuk is my ears, you catch up your canyon. What you say? You're going to get there, you're not buying. So, yeah, I don't know. You got a house in there, you know. I don't know if you're going to buy a woman. Why can't you have a house? I'm sorry. 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 I'm so we are empowering you in the name of Jesus Christ. We together with them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> The <laughs> Sohaholiko, <laughs> <laughs> to recruit more farmers and why not mm. yeah because in another area where is not directly responsible we have got more new farmers recruited whom we are going to pay so find out from him why hasn't he added on those 21 20, 21 who were paid in 2013 mm. Mm. yes yeah mm. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I said, 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 I
na dada na mumuru haku sokwa sibaa funa bo sita ina ya soha sokuna mba ndu bane Fasin <laughs> Nah, buat siapa yang boleh sih, bayi tak kerap maju minum cair akhir, buat salon, buat apa kerja, buat soya kangkung. Nanti saya akan ada umur dua tahun yang akan offline itu, si si kan dibuat. Nepal, eh, 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 luar negeri. Malah aku buat kesa, ni aku fokus saya cuci nanti susah, nanti susah aku bahasi, nanti susah aku bawa anak, cuci si balik aku. Abis itu nak haru lah, si fokus orang kebarera, bawa anak bawa 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 kalau kirim, kalau beri ah, eh, papa kalau bini dulu, kita fokus fokus muka dia. Bermain, bermain dia balik aku. Thank <laughs> Farmers <laughs> change their names, what they have, what we put on the monitoring form, and what is their identity in the circle. So what he came, his name was Kabole Ahmed with an account number. So when you send the money, we saw there was a term letter which was Miss Ahmed. There was no E, and in the office it was Ahmed. Mm. So the money bounced, but he also later changed the, 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 the bank, and he said this time we put it in Manafa Teacher's Circle. In the recent approvals, it was diverted to Manafa Teacher's Circle as Kabul Ahmed, not Ahmed, like the first payment, like the monitoring form. So his money didn't come because of that reason. Yes. Approvals, it was given to Manafa Teacher's Circle. Uh, the, the coordinator of the sub-county, Yossi Zana, Nendi, Yaba Angalina, Imbalaina, Kadena, Hafunamo, Saidi, and Hafunapako, assistant, Wala Mugrupu, Yafunaho, Nese, Nara Mugrupi, and Wal, Fabosi, Hufunahota. So that question I am not asking, but then an arrogant papa, you know, Nibana, 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 it is targeting, I mean, reaching the target. When you are a Mori, the ones of Yara, these are right, you could be more time, 150. But it's a who be better, so I also have to commit, you are not reaching the target. So, the minimum, 50%. But it's not even the number of trees alone. Even the way you have spaced them. We are looking at the technical specifications. What is the spacing? What are the species ratios? Do you get? So there are farmers who have trees. There are many, but the spacing is too close. You still don't qualify. We tell you, you have spaced them so close. You either thin them or do any other intervention, I've told you. The problem we had here, because we got, we call them free seedlings in bracket from the Standard Chartered Bank. They, they did everything they wanted because they were free. There was no string attached. Others didn't even plant all of them. Others gave the right to the other side. So when we came to follow up and monitor, they didn't have the targets. And they didn't have that attachment of the love of the seedling <coughs> if they had bought it for their own money, with their own own. So they became so reluctant. Actually, in this area, his, there were only like four farmers who qualified. But in the other area, we other parish, which is Bukoma, more people qualified. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how the farmer coordinator tells the farmers and trains the farmers and monitors the farmers and reminds them of the technical specifications, especially tree spacing, tree management, and the tree numbers. Yes, those are the main reasons why people don't qualify for <laughs> And when you are a Yaraka to a lot of the Sarabi Kari, the Wabi Araki of the system is the key combat. Miss Sin, now this I hope you are a video. Grandpa, I will be a video. 
So, see, Feel they, they, they should not be paid because he says in my trees are many. Eh? We give the feedback and we, when we are coming back to monitor again, they are those for our monitoring. So, how all the, the members who attend the meeting, when they are accepting their idea, when they impress the, the, pro, the project, they selected, they, they elected actually by show of hands, they elected us. Can you call people to come and help us? It is mm. one of the challenges we, mm. we are going to discuss. Okay. Okay. Like he, he was being asked, has the Mwangali come to visit you? Mwangali is a technical person, mm. but he has hardly come. Even in my area, he has not been to. So the demand is higher. Yes. Yeah. We ask the men to keep a portion for a lady to look after the coffee and the some tree. So they have really picked up the interest because they have seen the what? The benefits from what he, she has done as well as the man. So we help each other. They, they, they have improved that job. So from your own, if you want us to go and discuss uh, more and finish like that, or we visit another farm and ask more questions. So they see it as a last resort or a punishment even. Mm -hmm. So they are not really uh, engaging freely into agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how is it here, mm -hmm. whether uh, the participation of young people in uh, what goes on in farms. In Uganda, in Africa, in Actually, the challenge is the same almost. But uh, in, our, in our area here, we mainly grow food, food crops, this in my talk, this is bananas. And they have become cash crops. So because they are cash crops, they are easy to look after, you know, for, for it, once you plant it, it continues producing and you read a little. So some of them have got a portion. Uh, once they get a, pro, a plot and they grow, actually they look after the matoki very well. But when it comes to this, I say, why don't you plant a tree? Say, Mze, uh -uh. Mze. Takes <laughs> time. Uh, and many of them have taken it to this other body uh, occupations, uh, playing the cards. Uh, alcoholic mm -hmm. <laughs> so we still also have a challenge now, I don't know maybe in Kenya you have found a solution since you, you said you have not seen <laughs> <laughs> the support of women or they do oppose most of your activities then uh, lastly because as you generate maybe you are generating policy proposal to the government who want to implement this but they need your input do you involve women uh, in the course of doing the same. I do. And we discuss the issues maybe which have occurred in their home, in their home. like domestic violence, like maybe they are not uh, being involved in what they want. So they support me and they really, um, when I call they hear and you find I change that family. And any challenge from them? Eh, they are there. But you have to cancel, of course. Mm. Mm. Okay, you can just share with us one experience, right? I had the, my neighbor uh, who actually it was like the woman left because of caroling on certain domestic violence. Then the woman went to their home. So this is the man who called me that at least being a leader and most of women they hear you when you talk. At least you should accompany me they go to their home. So we went to was on Sun Saturday. So we went, we found the woman at their home. We discussed, okay, they brought their issues, which made them to separate a bit. So from there, we plus the parents, 
we had to cancel the woman on the other side of the woman and also some others raised from the husband's side. So we had to share a lot. So at the end, we had to bring them together and the woman promised to come. She came yesterday. So that was one. Um, intercropping when the season comes for first season for, for growing beans we just intercrop in within matoke even maize don't be surprised to find maize in matoke but potatoes normally they have small portions Are are today you can go with some. <laughs> now that this project is carbon based on tree planting, it's uh, more beneficial. You said you are looking at ecological benefits. Yes. So, uh, on advice on tree species to plant on cropland, it's better to have species that are. Uh, give more yield in terms of biomass. I know, yes, you are not interested in terms of uh, about soil fertility, but you are interested in the whole ecological benefits. So I advise on a tree like this. Mm -hmm. oh because you look at the ground, just look at the amount of biomass that is on the ground. Mm -hmm. It means you have trees on a farmland, yes, but you have a lot of yield of biomass, and therefore we know that the soil around that place is going to be fertile. And with good management, pruning, and others, you'll see that those trees are making some good impact on the farm. Then these other trees, it's good for them to be in a woodlot. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay. He got 320 seedlings. Mm. The next time he went to the market, or to a nursery, also bought seedlings, which he planted and he made 520 seedlings. But so far, they have wanted like three times. Mm. But he has never got any payment. Mm. He's asking why he has not been given any money up to now. Wow. Then the next concern is okay. eh, he has seen a, let me say, a disease or a pest eh, that is affecting this, the, what? the trees. Mm. The, it affects right from the tip or the apex. Eh? Mm. It starts eating at a certain stage. So he's asking if there would be an intervention, you'd help, it, help him do what? Find a control measure for the what? For the disease that is affecting his what? His trees. That's what happened, like I said, the registered bank gave us so many trees, and there were so farmers could pick as much as they wanted, and they could plant. So what happened? Maybe the training we did, we do training all the time. When for them, the farmers, when they have not attended the training, others think that when you plant so many trees, you get so many, so much money. So others now kept on planting adding on what Sunday Chartered Bank had given them. This one in turn made the spacing be closer because they have the same land. So Mr. Okut, I visited your garden myself and I'm the one who says pay this or don't pay this. So I myself have visited your garden. Your trees are so closely spaced that I advised you and I'm still advising you. Remove some so that we meet the technical specifications. I got a GPS myself and moved around your land. And it's even less than four hectares. And it has so many of those trees. They look beautiful, you like them, but when you go to the carbon standard, we don't qualify to give you. So when I advise you, if you don't, cannot thin, remove some of them. Leave them to do your own work, but you establish another garden that fits the standard. We are grateful that you're planting trees, and they're looking healthy. They're important for other functions, but for the incentive scheme, of the carbon standard we are using, you don't qualify because of the spacing. Ambassador Ambola, I don't know if you can go back or not. If you can go back, you can go back. If you can go back, you can go back. 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 You
Kulonde mitin rajesi baba kwa nita gana. It's okay, this is how we approach the incidences of diseases. You look at it when uh, you note it from the farmers. When the farmers uh, now discover that there is a pest or a disease, you notify it as a technical officer. And what you do, you if, you th if, if they think they are reaching the threshold levels where the disease is causing severe damage, you have to, to notify the research organization in, in charge of forestry. I don't know if there is one similar here in Uganda. In Kenya, we have Kenya Forestry Research Institute. Then those officers will come to the farms, check the disease, uh, then go out to do some research to, know, uh, to identify what could be the cause of the disease and give relevant advice back to the technical officer who will then take that information out to the farmers. That is how we, we usually approach that. Research Institute, I have not yet, but I see. 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 I of diseases, we are not got any training, and uh, I think we are. It is the first opportunity for us to ask maybe for that opportunity. But the numbers are not so much all the people who are the way these are. Oh, we are beating up or feeling the the, the refilling the the, the 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 lost ones. That one we got, but uh, as for diseases, not yet. Okay. I personally, I thought Muzait had gone, because the other time it was the dry season, and I thought when the rains come to go, because at times the, the plants are stressed during the dry season. And do you, Muzai, is it still as much as it used to be last time? Or when the rain came, it stopped a bit? Reduced <laughs> 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 We need a solution because it might persist. <coughs> yes, <coughs> and it does well in these dry hills. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, because it's an observation that I have made. Mm -hmm. yes. Because I feel there should be very good collaboration mm -hmm. between the government, the government ministries, mm -hmm. and the NGOs plus the farmers. Because it's like, for example, if you are working with EcoTrust, we tend to forget what the other organizations are doing. And that's why we are having issues, for example, the diseases we are talking about. I believe if the Ministry of Forestry, if there is a forestry department in this area, if they can come in, they can be able to resolve that. Then there is something I was looking at in the farm. If you look at maybe the population of bananas, the tree species that we are planting, and then of course, looking at maybe the tree canopy when that tree is mature, I'm seeing like there is a danger. Mm. That means we didn't involve the Minister of, of Forestry mm. for, us, for them to give us a guidance on what kind of tree species that can be grown together with bananas and coffee in the farm. Like the first farm we visited, I was seeing there is a stool of banana there, there is coffee just next to it, and then there is an agroforestry tree. <laughs> Our 
our farmers and farmer mobilizers, the other side of the other side of Kenya. As we tell them about the activities we do, especially the carbon payment and management system, we we tell them we advise the farmers to open their accounts with the local banks, local savings and village loan associations. So Manafat Circle is one of the local banks where farmers' payments are affected, and they have come to see it. Let me talk to you, find out how do you do these payments. We shall let at least the farmers, they'll also talk to themselves, but maybe as a circle manager, let us know how do you do these payments, what are the challenges, what do you advise Eco Trust, or what do you advise the Kenyan farmers to do when they go back to their areas. So, a group from Kenya, the most welcome. Any questions? This is where farmers are paid. Some of the farmers are paid. They are several, but farmers prefer where they want. So majority of the farmers in this area, the two districts, prefer to be paid here. Yes. And yes, the man. And I was here to the outside on the driveway. So this is Madame Mane. Mori. Hey. This is Madame Mane. I'm going to ask her to come and take the position. I'm going to attend her baby. Welcome to Manafat Chelsea. Okay. Um, it is a, okay. um, we call it a village bank because uh, our members are free with us. Anybody can post at any time, withdraw any amount at any time, and they feel free with us. Uh, we are happy to deal with Echo Trust. Uh, we have our members from Uchibokolo. Uh, and from Bukoma. The first meeting with those of Bukoma, mm -hmm. to the help of Mr. Akena, he brought them to introduce them to us, and they came and opened their accounts mm -hmm. with us. So, Ecotrust sends them money through our account. We will it, then we bring it to the circle, then we will post it on their personal accounts. From there, they come and look for it. From the world. But I want to it wrong, but I want to leave it, if you will it wrong, so, so you will know, continue the posting. That's how they operate on their accounts. They get loans in their accounts. They buy shares. They make with the draws like that. And they feel very free that they, they ask that if we get opportunity of talking to you people, that you may continue supporting them. Because when I was talking to the majority of them, they were like, they would earn us more trees. Because I had never personally visited them. But when they come, they say, if they would add us more trees, we have land we can plant. And I have some others within. They say if, if they can be connected to Ecotrust, they can uh, do the same activity as Ecotrust pays them. Because they are those having their own trees, having the land, but now they still want to be connected to Ecotrust so that you uh, can also benefit because they also can be farmers. They are within the time council. Because they have seen the, the benefits Ecotrust has uh, put in its beneficial needs. It's fun. They are even enough. Mm. Maybe the volume. Their accounts look like uh, we have a savings schedule, a loans schedule, and a share capital schedule. So if the member buys a share, we record it on their business transaction. How many women farmers are here? The two groups. Maybe she has not taken time to separate the age, the, the age groups, the age groups and the gender. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
they just get for membership. And let's see if they have to get their own. And then the wife is uh, gets aware. Mm -hmm. Knowing that they have accounts here and they benefit from medical trust. Mm -hmm. Maybe it I, I'm not sure. I'm certain where that is. They have come to supervise their work. Mm -hmm. Unless if maybe they don't tell them that they give it to them. Now, uh, from the monitoring of uh, the account for eco trust for company credit payment or they are for general income savings and other things on they the are farm. for general income savings and credit. Okay, it, it counts as any other member. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when the other money comes, it is uh, withdrawn in lump sum. Then it brought here. When it's brought, we use this uh, mm -hmm. the list. That, that list. The credit, credit they are their accounts. Mm -hmm. Then they come to the mm -hmm. They send him 100,000. He withdraw all the 100,000. And wait when they credit again his account, <laughs> it's when he will again withdraw all. <laughs> but I'm, oh, maybe my son are like <laughs> But you, at first I try to talk to them. I talk to them, I advise them, I say, you never had this problem, sickness, what? So you, you leave something for yourself. Those who have taken that advice have always left something. Mm -hmm. Maybe from the eco trust fund. Mm. Okay. Uh, the community requested that they also take up the, the, the whatever. They also open accounts with us. Mm. So apart from teachers, mm. we have other mm. who also found us. Uh, but not specified that in this area, but mm. they are farmers. Please. Mm. Mm. And his own land, whether he can benefit from Echo Trust and how he can benefit from Echo Trust. I have got two cases. Then they monitor them, and after they facilitate them. That's what I answered. But I told him I'm concerned because they're coming on Echo Trust. Ask whether they can also benefit from Echo Trust. Especially among uh, rural farmers in Africa, uh, but sometimes we have realized that people change with some interventions. They can change and adopt the culture of uh, saving. So I don't know if as a circle you have any initiatives to change that culture of farmers around here so that uh, they are able also to, to save what they earn. We want to actually above what is meant to be. Mm. Uh, so what are you doing to achieve that? Of course we go around the we go around advertising what calling for people to come, mobilizing people around mm -hmm. out there. Those who have who like for us we go to <coughs> the schools, we go to villages like these drinking joints, we go to groups they are power from the groups, so some meet on weekends. So they come and connect with us. Their day is all right, of meeting, we go and, and work, and we, we talk to them, we like to teach them how circles operate, how they can benefit from circles, when they say what happens, like that. Okay, that's so many groups. I have, um, yeah, okay, there is a contrast. There are those who, who clean up the road, they know also in a group. They will also come and open a camp from here. Mm -hmm. There are also groups there, like they, they are village servants. They come and... Uh, this issue of women, how are you handling because of gender? Women on board, and it's becoming a very big challenge. It's what we are trying to fight. I still feel uh, you as an, uh, as an organization, you can try to empower women because actually empowerment will not start on the, at the grassroots level but you guys when you come in you can be able to empower women because if you feel like we are going to break families because of the empowering women, women cannot touch money. I think there is an issue. Because look at what we are talking about. In every six months, we have uh, uh, 
executive executive meetings those ones are held we put it we put it on a monthly basis but it depends according to the work the project have because we know we don't need to wait for for the month when we have an activity the ex any time but the general meeting we held it let me say every three months we call all members we meet uh, we share ideas and the challenges we are facing we at first we put it on uh, once a year but we found that before you wait for a year eh? like you have given someone a heifer you wait for a year to hold a meeting you could find that he's doing something wrong but as the management committee we cannot go there alone we want to go as a group we have the we have our bylaws we can't go there personally or as a, a for what is happening that's why we, we brought yeah one more question i've seen you give trees you give havers you give uh, like okay because you've said you usually visit like for trees mm. how uh, how do you monitor progress of those projects uh, when you plant trees for forestry mm. how do you assess progress and the water uh, uh, the members give back to the group or it becomes an individual project we have, which are being elected by the parish itself, they give us the representatives. Uh, that person is uh, assigned to move around and look at the project properties goods to see its progress. Then, by the month, has to bring us a report. What is there? Is it moving? Is it collapsed? Is there any sickness recorded? Then it is brought to the management. So the management wants it, wants it not. When it is serious, but we have not yet uh, received the serious problem, uh, we call the, the annual general meeting. Uh, the, what you have put on the wall, eh? mm -hmm. I'm seeing it's quite representative of both gender, male and female. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it's a challenge in most of the areas we have visited. How are you able to achieve this? And then the second question, it is, from what you are telling us, the group is quite cohesive. How do you manage to keep that cohesiveness? Is there some input from maybe other government departments that helps you maybe be cohesive in the group? Uh, the, the first equation, the group having what? You say that? Yeah. It, 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 there is equal representation. Yeah, I can see male, female, male, female, gender, 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 gender issues. Gender issues. Yeah, we achieved them when we started. <laughs> no, we have achieved them because we have been there for this is our fifth year. So, as we started talking, uh, I told you this is a group of who? youth and women uh, and we sit as we have seated right? the women the youth then everything we talk we talk it together we share it together as a group so those <coughs> names there the, the from themselves but on the on the on the, the, the benefit, beneficiaries, even the beneficiaries, before we, once we receive some aid, uh, I told you we sometimes uh, at first we had the target project, it gave us some aid. And secondly, that is, it is only two, two areas where we have got aid. And the echo trust is the third. The first was the tag, 
Hmm? What? It was difficult for us to pick milk from that area. You pick the other one this way. It was difficult. You don't have the facility to put it in. So, as now is when we are going to bring that idea to the board. The percentage you have to bring to the group. Okay? to benefit these remaining members because we can't benefit once all. That's why I want that a small percentage you bring back, we save it to help the missing person. Yes, Uh, as I have told you once, that capacity which is returned, eh? like once you receive a IFA, you have to return a calf to the group to help our sustainability and you have to save with the group. At least when you start, uh, once the cow produce, eh, your milk as you sell, you have to bring it, you have to bring and save with the group. So that that the small uh, interest we, get, we, we earn from, it, it keeps our sustainability. As I told you, we started without any aid. Eh? But we were moving, using the savings and the fundraisings. That is where our sustainability is from. Mm. On computers, computers and ICT, we are not yet here. Any plans? Uh, how to manage a cow? Mm. The knowledge they are using, they are learning. Mm. Manage very fast. Mm. The money is not coming, we want to go. It may be good for other species. Mm. If you have managed to retain them. I don't know how. And also, when uh, most groups, when they have something coming in in the form of aid, mm -hmm. what you say to our system, they, they tend to want to share it and then it disappears. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you are going to do it. Yeah, that. Because when we were starting, <laughs> most of our youth, the people who, who remain, who, who were constant, mostly were women. But most of the number of the youth, some of them ran away. Because as we started the group, we, uh, most youth were targeting the, 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 the NUSAF. Yeah? They were targeting NUSAF, but I'm going to get a, a car. So the NUSAF failed. So as the NUSAF failed, some of them ran away. They ran away. But we remained with the, some few with the women in. So we said, for us we cannot run away. Let's serve, uh, let's be a team, let's do work, a teamwork. We decided to move. Today we come to your, your garden, we dig for you for two hours. Tomorrow we go to another one. And we, we started at a small pool. <coughs> we started at a small pool, we serve. Today we give you, you go and start up what you are going to do. Then another day we will give another one. That is how we manage to move until we go to some. And that is the thing we are still doing. Uh, and even our pool has increased. At first we are, give, we are doing a pool of, of 500,000. 
the whole group. That money we give you, it has no interest. You go and start up your business. Then you bring, you know, we keep giving out to that pool until the, the pool have increased. We are giving uh, 3.2. And our, baby? Our pool mm -hmm. has increased. It has uh, increased. And uh, I want to be a little bit open. Like the last youth. And I will together with you. It has worked so well. With the support from other well wishers, the donors. But what has not come out clearly, maybe these are farmers who are working with the youth, the women, the, the community based organizations, for all mixed. The challenges we have faced, that one has not come out clearly. Then, uh, with those challenges you have faced to reach where you are, it could assist us also, because it's a learning, eh? to know that if we have a uh, youth or a, a CBU and you come across such a challenges, this is how one maybe you can overcome them. So we find that most of the things is very small. But I know about the, like the livestock, we're talking about the gaps, the havers, isn't it? They are very challenging. And you face the challenges as a, a youth, as a group. I don't know, even at the individual farmer, who's ever received the cow. But uh, otherwise, to the point, it's like uh, you are very successful, and we, we wish you to continue with those successes, but maybe you could just mention the three main uh, the areas like the management, put, keeping these people together. You have like this, the one you're doing with it, so that you can also maybe input on those challenges that may be added. So Peter, just say this. Just say in one second. The, the most challenges, as I, I told you, once, one is people want the direct benefit. Eh? They, they want the direct benefit. Yeah. Uh, number two, we are in need of resources because we have holding meetings. People have to be trained. Eh? We need more resources. Financial resources. Yeah, financial resources. Then uh, three, three, the area we have been disturbed with the, the area it is uh, the climate is uh, like this uh, bridge here or the water. The water carried on most of our trees. That was a big challenge. Uh, then the other challenge on uh, Haifa project. Uh, the disease outbreaks. Just recently we had a food and mouth disease in this area. But it was good because we put a policy on it. We said whoever we have given a heifer should save with us. And under that saving, we put the 10,000 aside to produce the, the medicine. So that thing helped us a lot. Uh, in taking care of those helifers. We have not recorded any loss under helifer. Then the, the last, but not the least, uh, bringing the new technology in the community, bringing a, a new idea. It is very difficult to the lower community to understand, to adopt. Eh? Like as we have brought these milestones, someone says, am I going to be paid? Are you going to pay me? Eh? Eh? Then, you that, eh? <laughs> but you are bringing this stuff of yours, are you going to pay me? So, 
<laughs> it, lag, it lags more sensitization. So, about capacity building for sustainable natural resource management, Youth Ending Hunger Association has a trainer of trainer called Ivan Wamboka, who, who is dealing in farmer recruitment directly. And his, it was a bit far because we had cancelled out the visit with them when we knew it looked like we had a business schedule. But one of the challenges, the TOT recruited 13 farmers whose applications I have. But two weeks ago when we came to review, none of them qualified for the payment. That is the challenge which I know the director fears to mention. He maybe thinks it is his fault, but the reasons are, the reasons are several. The first, the main reason was farmers had small land holdings, so they need to be advised on the best other activities to do. Secondly, farmers are still resistant. What I, wh why are you taking my, they are not yet, they need more training about the carbon product. However, we are working with them in Ifurukusov, and farmers need to be trained over and over. <coughs> so for us, we don't mind they didn't qualify, but we shall come back again and train them again and keep on training them. Yes, that is the main challenge. Thank you. Thank you. I take this opportunity to thank both sides, and I say thank you, continue, and be blessed. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. Okay.
Tumina. Awasinga, Mwagala Kusimba Miti. Mwuridi. Yemiru nje jinzo kubamu senti. Atenga mwenye dano juko za samu mwura mwura mwuri juko. Kuchia ito. Jemuina miru nji. Jiwa yamba mwura mwura mwuri juko. Mwano wetuwa kete kubo na wune vitu wangu. Lichimuli mwa inza kubaya yamba kubwa tuku miti. Jiwa yamba mwura mwura mwuri juko. Chiche mwagala mbikie yu. Waluwa wala langa abe wanali. Naba gambi. Uba gambi. Mwubazi. Nata mwuchi. So when I'm at you, we know what we are going to do. Twelve million people are going to come to Quebec, Kenya. We are going to eat them. 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 Technology program. 
extension of what? Expression of root.
Bale, Kududa, Manapa, comprising of TOGs, and uh, some of the coordinators and then farmers. We are here today for training, uh, institutional capacity building, and then uh, the award of the certificates for the people who have been trained. So you're most welcome to Manapa. Uh, these people are very excited to be part of EcoTrust. And as a district of Manapa, we are also excited to be part of EcoTrust because the training that our farmers are receiving is not just a training that uh, is a skills development training, because it is not leaving our farmers the same, meaning it is also not going to leave our region the same. So as a district, we are impressed. Our cow is not around today, but you would have really loved to be part of this process. But he has some issues to handle in Kampala. So we have his blessing in advance, and uh, he's wishing us the best. So we must welcome, I think, uh, the next session is a word and then another day. Uh, warm welcome. I'm very pleased to be here today on this uh, occasion, which is very important to EcoTrust. EcoTrust has a motto which says building partnerships for conservation and um, we came into this area, the Mount Elgon area, to form a partnership with the local government and to form a partnership with the communities and uh, we've been overwhelmed by the kind of support that we have received both from the local government, the technical staff, the political leadership as well as from the community, from the farmers themselves. We have many programs that we run in this area. We have one on energy, we have the tree planting one, and uh, we, we want to deal with so many issues in this area, including how people use their land. The reason why we are here today is because as Ecotrust we recognize that a partnership can only be useful if the stakeholders involved have the skills to make it work. So we decided that the best way to build skills in this area is if we trained trainers. Instead of us bringing our two or three staff who are scattered all over the country to be training people, we thought it would be wiser to train people who will live, who will live on the ground to be able to train other other uh, stakeholders to be able to effectively participate in the partnership that we have with the communities here. And uh, for that to be made possible, we went into another partnership. Another partnership with Eco Agriculture Partners, who are not represented here today. It's an organization whose headquarters are in the US. We also uh, partnered with um, climate change, agriculture and food security, which is mainly a research organization that uh, carries out research on, on the best ways of ensuring food security in a changing climate. But we also partnered with some experts from Uganda called ENR Africa and uh, Moses uh, Masika is here to represent them. So together with that partnership, we came up with a program that we think should build capacity for people who will train others, who will train trainers, who will train the local communities to be able for everybody to benefit from this. So what, what makes me really excited today is that we have all this group of people. We have all this group of people, some of whom have trained, have participated in other trainings, some of whom have participated in only some, but some who have already gone ahead to implement uh, already some of the things that uh, have been trained. We, for example, have more than a hundred farmers. Where is Annette? We have, what, do you know the total? About 200 that have already taken up. The 267. Up 267 farmers that have been trained by you, um, taught how to apply for some of the projects that we have. And um, I think more than half of them have already implemented the activities and they've implemented them the way they are supposed to be. So I have faith and I am really looking forward. I have faith.
faith that the partnership is going to continue being successful and I have faith that uh, we will continue fundraising from where we are. We will continue looking for other partners to be able to bring in the resources that are required to make this uh, partnership uh, meaningful. Um, thank you very much. interesting training. Uh, the experts led by Moses had uh, a course outline which is based on the work that uh, people like Anet are already doing in Msheni, Hoimama, Sindhi and other parts of, of Uganda. But what happened is that they got that course, brought it here and went through it with you. Based on your feedback, they improved the course content that we had. So you have been part of the resource persons that have led to the publishing of this book. And uh, what we are going to do is we, we have trained it as a, we have published it or printed it as a manual, as a trainer's manual. And what we are going to do is we are going to give copies to every sub-county. 
We are going to give coordinator. The first is the former coordinators, then every sub county, then the district two copies. <coughs> so these are for the former coordinators. The former coordinators the first. first. Coordinators first. So she's going to read their names. The, the sub counties. They know the coordinates. Okay. Counties. So okay. So one former coordinator is getting three copies. Uh -huh. no, one one get a copy. Yes. yes. Every sub county is going to get a copy, and every district. <coughs> Two copies. And, and two copies are going to be given okay. to the every district. district. And um, you use them, find them useful, you can order for more. You can order for more through Annette. Through Annette, maybe through uh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Mangale, Mangale, you can order for more. But what we have done right now is that we have compiled all this information into a book. We have given three copies for each sub-county and uh, extra two copies based at the district. Then you can order for more once you find them useful. We hope that you find them useful. We know that you'll find them useful, yeah. seeing that the information in the book was generated from our interaction with you. Next to Wanale. So everybody in these sub counties, you know who has the book. Yes. Next to a book soup. Nakati next after book soup.
unless you come to a point where you, you all the environmental issues in this place, all the natural resource issues in this place have been sorted, or point that uh, you no longer need support. Otherwise, considering the the response we have so far received, we are very encouraged. And as my uh, closing remarks, I would like to pledge our continued uh, commitment to this partnership. And we are hoping that uh, it will be reciprocal. We, the, the district will continue with the good uh, relationship that they have with us and the communities that will continue responding. We think that this is a very important part of the country which makes it a very important part of the district, I mean of the continent, and also a very important part of, of the world. So we pledge to continue highlighting that fact to the global community, to everywhere that we go, that there is a very important part of, of the world which is located somewhere in Mount Elgon with very hardworking people that are committed to coming up with solutions to combat uh, some of the challenges that we have in... Uh, in uh, in natural resource management. So thank you very much. We look forward to continuing working with you. Thank you very much. At least you smile a bit. Trees. 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 I never know. I never know. If it's true, you should do it.